Breaking news, that 70s show's actor Danny Masterson has been sentenced to 30 years to life in prison for the rapes of two women. Remember that 70s show, the show that created Dude, Where's My Car actor and certified top G, Ashton the Milf Kutcher? The show also created home economics actor and franchise killer Topher Grace, hot throb and alleged groomer Wilmer Valderrama, Ukraine actress and everybody's mid-2000s wet dream Mila Kunis, and the infamous, disgraced Scientologist Danny Masterson. And of course, Orange is the New Black star and ex-Scientologist Lauren Preppen. This has to be the cast with the most controversy I've ever seen. And I grew up with Bill Cosby and Roseanne show. So think about that for a second. Oh my God. This stuff is crazy. But today we are going to break down the latest pop culture story that involves Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis, Danny Masterson, Scientology, and a murder. Danny Masterson has been dealing with the forcible action charges. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with forcible actions, just think for a second. It starts with the word R. I don't want to get demonetized because no, YouTube is full of a bunch of little pussycats. I said pussycats, okay? That's not derogatory. These charges stem from 20 years ago during the height of his career and was recently sentenced to 30 years in prison. And guess all that Scientology teaching didn't help Danny Masterson clear his feet. I love inside jokes. Love to be a part of one someday. Several disturbing accusations were made against Masterson and Scientology to include pulling a Bill Cosby on women and the typical Scientology harassment and stalking. According to one of the Jane Doe's who happens to also have been a Scientologist, attempted to report the crime to the church itself, but in their typical fashion, they dismissed the claims and told the victim that she was being a suppressive person and toxic by breaking the church's rules by ratting out a prominent member like Masterson, who who felt untouchable for his action. But it gets even worse. Once Masterson was found guilty, he asked his close friend Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis to write a character letter to the judge, hoping for leniency for their good old friend. And of course, this was asked after Masterson was found guilty. Surprisingly, the judge was not a fan of that 70s show because he hit Masterson with 30 years. 30 years in prison. And he released Ashton Kutcher's and Mila Kunis's leniency letter to the world to consume. And the world did not take lightly of this. Hollywood obviously is a degenerate place. Because of the public's reaction, they released a hostage tape. Yes, I said hostage tape. They have clearly been kidnapped and held as hostages by Scientology. How is no one else seeing this? Is it just me? Am I the only one who's seen this tape? We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. We support victims. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing. The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. They were intended for the judge to read. Um, and not to undermine the testimony of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way. We would never want to do that. And we're sorry if that has taken place. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim of sexual assault, sexual abuse, or rape. This definite 100% guaranteed authentic Hollywood hostage video garnered the attention of Chrissy Bixell, who is one of the Jane Doe's in this case. She raged out on Twitter with a single tweet. And with that one X, she exposed Ashton Kutcher's serial murder connection. Ashton Kutcher taking the stand, testifying against a man accused of being a Hollywood serial killer. And I'm not gonna continue unless you, yes, I'm talking to you, the one who's watching this video right now, the one who stumbled upon this video, or you already have been a subscriber. If you've already been a subscriber, thank you so much. But if you are brand new, you, yes, the one who's watching, please just for a second, just scroll up, click the thumbs up if you're enjoying this so far, and click subscribe. According to my analytics, it says that 92% of people are not subscribed who are watching my video. They always told me this is a time to be black in America because white people feel guilty. So, you know, use that white guilt and click that subscribe button.
acting like no black people watch my content. I hope there are black people that watch my content. And Germans, all my fellow Germans out there. Damn blut, I'm Klein as Blume like. Chrissy, again, she is one of the victims of Masterson. She's one of the Jane Doe's, and she is dropping the people's elbow on Ashton and his reputation. She is accusing Ashton Kutcher of knowing some deep, dark secret that the public doesn't know about him. She claims to have overheard a telling phone call that he had with Masterson back in 2001, one of the nights of 2001. It was the night before his girlfriend was found brutally murdered. According to the records, Ashton claimed he went to pick up his girlfriend Ashley Ellerin for a party. He was late, he knocked on the door, she didn't answer, he peeked through the window and he said that he saw what looked like wine spilled on the floor and thought maybe she was pissed because he was late so she threw the bottle on the floor so he proceeded to the party alone it wasn't until the next day when ashley's body was found by her roommate that it was called in the killer was eventually caught and it turns out the killer was a serial killer what Ashton had absolutely nothing to do with the murder, and that is a fact. But what's more disturbing is that according to the evidence that this great YouTuber put together and has made his mission to expose the horrors of Scientology, reported on a story several months ago in Ashton Kutcher stating that according to his LAPD source, Kutcher lied about his action on the night of the murder. Ashton said he did not enter the home, but apparently that was a lie. He indeed entered the home and found the body and then walked back out of the house, went to his car, and sat in the driveway for an hour. You have a lot to learn about this town, sweetie. Kutcher never called the police. He apparently called Masterson, which is where Chrissy heard the conversation. After speaking with Masterson, it's alleged Ashton called his team and then they worked out the plan on what he should do, which was not to call the police and go to the party and act as if nothing happened. And if the police would reach out to him, he would tell the story that he eventually did, which was not entering the home. His lies created reasonable doubt preventing the prosecution of the suspected killer at the time because the police knew that Kutcher was lying. But his actions allowed the murderer to get free, leading to another killing and an attempted murder until he was caught and convicted. There's some crazy stuff here and it gets even worse. Chrissy just dropped a grenade in the room, walked out and allowed the internet to destroy Mila Kunes. Mila is now under scrutiny because Chrissy suggests that Kunes might have had her own unsettling experiences during that 70s show days with the cast members. She even encourages everyone to check out the Mila's old interviews for some context. And that's what it gets kind of creepy and uncomfortable. And the reason I'm doing this it's not because I think in the crease is good, but because Josh told me me and I would sit on my lap if I did. When she was she was 14 when we started the show, I was like 19, right? Right. And they're like, okay, you guys are going to be making out in this scene. And I'm like thinking like, wait, I this is like slightly illegal, right? I was going to say, that's right? probably your first kiss ever, right? It was my first kiss. What? So what have we learned today? Well, we learned that 92% of you haven't subscribed. We learned that the lies of Ashton Kutcher actually caused a murderer to get free and then indulge in his hobby of killing. We've learned that Mila could have possibly been groomed. We've learned that Hollywood stars really don't look as attractive as they do in the movies and hostage videos. And we learned that we should never, ever, ever support friends and let them drown by themselves because we've seen what happens when people try to support a person or a cause. It certainly feels like a, a really important moment. It feels like a time when, you know, survivors are finding their voice and people are sort of like, you know, and I include myself in this really discovering the terrible extent of this problem. Three days later. <laughs> Former MTV host Hillary Burton says this video proves that Affleck groped her in 2003 when she was just 18 years old. I gave her a hug. I don't remember it, but I absolutely apologize for it. I certainly don't think she's lying. Personally, I think we will see some more videos of Ash's behavior popping up left and right from his past, because let's just be real. He was young, he was rich, he was considered hot, Everybody loved him. He was an up and coming star. Of course, he's going to have some crazy stories about him. We have several prominent YouTubers covering the story, and we have Demi Moore's autobiography that doesn't paint Ashton in the greatest light. So, what are your thoughts? Has the internet been undeniably too critical of Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, who were seemingly offering support to their friend? Alternatively, could it be inferred that Ashton and Mila's letters was motivated by desire to safeguard Ashton's interests, as Danny? possessed knowledge about that tragic incident of 2001. 
You let me know because all I know is I don't fuck with the Scientologists or the ex-Scientologists because they will go after you full force to destroy you. Now, who's going to go watch Mission Impossible, the movie, with me? I heard it was certified rotten, which is good, and I've heard that Tom Cruise did an amazing job. He is the greatest. I mean, <laughs> Tom Cruise forever, right? <laughs> Please don't hurt me, Elrod. I swear I didn't want to do this video. <laughs> the audience voted for it. Words from a book showed me the way To be free of the shadows of yesterday But the price of that freedom we all must pay From now on Pretty cool, huh? The planet has no sign of intelligent life. Official recommendation, destroy.